How's it going guys? Zipdoom here, and today is the pilot episode for the Let's Suffer series, which is basically a Let's Play series, but we play very bad games till the very end. Hmm. Don't get me wrong, we'll play some good games later, but for now, we're sticking with the bad ones. And for season 1 of the Let's Suffer series, we're going to be playing... This game. I heard a lot of negative things about this game, so yeah. You know this is gonna be good. Get the Kool-Aid Fruit Punch ready because this is gonna be a long series. Still waiting. Oh, there it is. How do you pronounce that? Yes, Briss? Here it is. Y2K, a postmodern RPG. But for now, and forever, we're just gonna refer to it as Yik! Let's go. Hello there! Welcome to the wonderful world of Y2K! Yeah, I'm not gonna do the voices. Maybe I will. Let's see here. That's, that said Y2K, in case you were confused by the font choice in the logo. Yeah, but Yik sounds better. The developers thought it would be a cool idea to make the two a Roman numeral for some reason. Yeah, can't see how that's confusing. Grab your tinfoil hat and prepare your eyes as they are about to be open wider than you could have ever thought possible. This is going to be a wild ride. Sure it is. I'm going to ask you a few questions if that's alright. Could you please pick a favorite color theme? Red. Great choice! <laughs> What's the name of the person behind the screen playing? What do you go by? Oh, me? This is super serious. Aldo. Beautiful name. Flattery will get you nowhere. Wow, I wish I had a cool name like that. Flattery will get you nowhere still. That's super. Your parents must have been super hit. Cats and comfort with a name like that. My parents mainly need Marlene. Okay, Marlene, seriously. Flattery will get you nowhere. Can you believe that? Eh. Yuck. Back to the questionnaire. What do you look like? They don't have attack helicopter, so I guess I'll go with male or whatever. You know, I heard this game try- I heard people say that this game tries to be like Earthbound, and it really shows here. I don't know when- First things first. Here are quiz- These are questions about real people in your IRL life. I'm not sure if that fits well of IRL. These are- It should have been these are the people you know IRL. So, do you best to answer truthfully as it will hurt my feelings if you lie to me? Then I'll lie as much as I want! Real people being honest and give some sort of response. First of all, what was the name of the good person you got? Uh, I get this weird feeling that they're gonna... That they're gonna ask for my credit card information and social security number, so I'm just gonna stick with L. Thank you. 
of you. Um, uh, before I was putting down real names, well, the first letter of their names, but I'm just gonna put down B because I don't remember too well. nerdiest guy you know who would go on and on and on about stupid things like video games and make comic books and crap like that me get it who's always here to talk to you about down on yourself that's your <laughs> Besides face purely due to death, now that it's like not to be anywhere near as attractive as you'd like to be. And always make you feel better when you realize you're a complete waste of time in the middle of the night. Yeah. Moms are always there for you. What is your favorite piece of technology? Something you feel a connection to. Phone. Hmm. Is it phone? <sighs> I'm just gonna go with phone. I feel like I know so much about you. I can tell we're going to get along famously. Just don't touch my credit card info. I'm not ask you any of this. Okay, come on now. Uh. Okay. April 4th, 1999. Chapter 1 A Wild Cat Chase. So that just happened. Or did it? What even was that? Frankston. Hmm. Yeah, that's a very 90s font. On April 4th, 1999, I arrived home from school. I just graduated. It took a few semesters longer than I originally planned, but I was proud to be done. I had no idea what adult life held for me, but it was optimistic. Oh, looks like we're moving. Well, the first thing I want to do is save my game, obviously. <sighs> save. I'd like to save your data. Yes. Anything save? Call again anytime. Well, at least this isn't too 90s where the game takes a longer time to save. Now, where am I supposed to go? Oh, found a run button. Am I supposed to go here? Phew. No, I'm not disappointed. It's just, I thought you were pizza. Here you die. I 
the deep dish pizza. Oh, looks like we gotta bring a deep dish pizza. Maybe. What am I even supposed to do? Um, you there. I came to visit your mother, but she seems to be working all sorts of odd hours. She works really hard. Be good to her. Yeah. This plant looks suspiciously like the Easter Island head. Sure to use a haircut. Oh, the friend that I'm, that's always there. Right. Hey man, you got a second? So I guess you're my you're a fan of video game, right? Yeah, I am. My views are written about video game, game culture, including the art, music, film, and fashion inspired by people who get. Well, mostly I write about t shirts and jeans, but that's okay. After my trials as a writer has always been me, and I used to publish the print. It used to rock! But now, thanks to that damn internet, it's starting to be too expensive to justify on my own. Information is so easy to track down and share. Everyone can be a pleasure to share on the internet. Everyone can have a voice, which is great, but online carbon is permanent. Pretty much. One's new, you one day, and one's the next. 99 is just a different piece from 98. <laughs> Please donate some money to me. I'm going to end the Kickstart 90s yet. That's the name of my zine. And then come in and then we just come in and What are you saying, man? Yes. Holy crap, that's great! How much do you want to donate? Donate one dollar and you get a sticker. Donate five dollars you get a magazine. Donate ten dollars and you get the producer credit in the back of the book. Remember, each time I return to time comes a sizable portion of my cell is right to me. Um <laughs> what are you going to give? Do I even have money with me? I have enough cash to donate that much. Wait, I just got back from a bus and I don't even have money. Damn. Am I supposed to go here? Letter from Mama. Alex, dear son of mine, please see if you can muster up the energy to walk into town and pick up some groceries. I've included a list below. Oh, I think I made a mistake including mom as one of the things. Not even home five minutes and she's already barking orders at me. Hey now, that wasn't barking. She's just politely asking you. Ooh, shiny thing! Collectible pog. Thirteen minutes, okay.
That phone call was surely one of the strangest I've ever received. And no, I couldn't hear the music. Did something happen? All right, let's go to that grocery store. Wait a minute. Still broke. Mm. Hello, doggo. Barksy. Where's that grocery store? Supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Nothing strange about this rock. You could say they could be meteorites, but then again, we wouldn't have this town if they were. A few hundred yards outside of town, I came to a junction. Up, oh, looks like the plot's still progressing. Mulling over the strangeness of being back home, I stopped to notice a forest I'd never explored. It was dark, but somehow attractive. I made a mental note to explore it later, and took a step towards town when I heard a meow near my feet. I picture what it would be like to be the owner and I imagine describing it to a friend. Lonely? Nah, I don't get too lonely. Besides, my mom was only a cat. An old cat. But a good friend to talk to. My fictional friend would reply, You talk things over, do you? I'd nod. Uh-huh. Been together a long time so we can read each other's moods. I understand what makes the cat tick. The cat knows what makes me tick. Hmm. Of course, I didn't know this cat at all. We've never met. He was a funny looking cat, with a funny resting face and a Salvador Dali mustache. Mm hmm. He. I couldn't imagine picking out this cat to bring home from the store. I leaned down to pet him, without entirely knowing if cats like to be pet at all. His coarse hair ran through my fingers as he purred. Clearly, he liked me, and that was a good sign. Alex Eagleston, college graduate, friend of small animals. Well, that just happened. Hey, give that back to me. <laughs> uh, okay, is this the overworld? How's that cat can jump? What even is this overworld? <laughs> Wait, is this a battle? Okay, we're doing this now. Oh wait, I don't have any skills. Attack the smile. some money now. You probably couldn't tell but I'm looking at my cat right now.
Okay, so I take it I'm supposed to go to the glowing lady. Ooh, treasure chest. Um, all right. Come on. Treasure chest. Ambrosia. Okay. Well, it didn't wander into that abandoned building. It kind of jumped onto it. Let's get this chest. Oh, $40, man. Okay. For sale. Saving my game. Just know I plan on making each episode like, um, okay, that, ouch. I plan on making each episode like, um, 30 minutes long. So, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm uh, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go through the entrance and he'll just... And the weird robe thing will be like, you can't go in. Looks inside the trash can. And this like the pizza. And three point one seven dollars. Who would throw money away? Oh wait, maybe that's why I was supposed to go into the window. Guess not. Heal thyself. And it's a water fountain. Hmm. Looks like we're going up. I stepped into the elevator, expecting to find the cat. I scanned the dark floor and found nothing. Obviously not. I sighed as the elevator began to shake, vibrating with motion. Vibrating with motion. Yeah, that's one way to say it. The elevator came to a smooth but unexpected stop. Your voice sounds relaxed, but your body position seems, um, panicky. I cringed with anxiety as the lights flickered. There it is. Please don't die. Please don't die. I pleaded with the mechanical gods to keep the power on. Hmm... Mechanical gods. My prayers weren't answered. Well, obviously not. Last time I saw mechanical gods was in Xenoblade Chronicles, and they wanted to kill everyone. Damn it! Power's out. I need to find the stairs or a fuse box. <laughs> Checking the trash again. Five dollars. I repeat, who would throw away money? Wait, what's that over there? Something tells me I was not supposed to fight it. Attacking the smiley because it's weak. It does in one hit anyways. Woo! First try! Okay, I sounded way too excited there. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Only one damage. Oof. Only had a key to open it. If only. 
Could it be in this trash can or more money? The dollar amount keeps increasing every time I open a trash can. Anything to interact or gee, if only I I flipped the switch but nothing happened. Maybe because it happened over here or no. Or maybe down this pass. Ah, uh, there's the key. Also, I healed my south water fountain. Okay, it's just a rat. Face it, this is an RPG game. <laughs> and I'm not talking about like those other RPG games with some type of special mechanic like um Seal Bay Chronicles and others like Persona. This just has basic combat. Well, obviously, I see no reason not to. Hey, who's there? D don't come any closer. I'm armed. Relax and quiet down. It's me, Panda. Here he is, the best character of the game, Panda. Panda? Why are you here? And this is normal for him. I came here to help you. I'm always there for you when you need me. Uh, that's good to hear. What sort of help did you have in mind? You're not even gonna question him, really? My primary use is as a barrier. I can block oncoming enemy attacks and create barriers between you and many other obstacles. My metal shield makes me very heavy, so you can use me to hold down switches and to clear small gaps by stepping on my head. You can press to summon me. Remember to press again to call me back. Also remember that some weighted switches will have reverse effects if you take me off. So, press it and summon you and press it again to take you back? I think I get it. I hope so, Alex. It's rather straightforward. However, since you were a liberal arts major, want me to explain this entire thing again? <laughs> okay, seriously. The hell. Burned by your own panda. <laughs> Yay, I got panda. Yay, I got fountain soda and 236. Generic water bottles. Mm. All right, now hold down. Wait, they said to press B. 
I'm pressing B, I'm pressing everything, but how do I summon the damn panda? Okay, there we go. Just gonna leave my panda behind, I guess. Now, where the hell am I? I think this might be the debug room. I mean, seriously, the first thing that comes to mind when I see this debug room. Okay. Now, uh, where the. What the. Um, maybe through here? Okay, yeah. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to put Panda here. Oh. Oh, now I get it. I'm a clown. Then again, I am playing this game. So, yeah. Oh wait, I still can't go from there? Huh. Thanks. Thank. Hmm. Yeah, I was supposed to go over here. Or not. Hey, this elevator. Or not. Well, looks like that's all the time we have for today. Maybe next time we'll we'll find out this puzzle. But for now, I'm gonna say. Until next time. Oh. Well, see ya.